everybody, this is Mega Max here, coming at you with some random Terraria. I'm just going to show off a few random mods today that I thought were pretty awesome. Uh, there may not be full reviews right now, but I will do full reviews afterwards. I just wanted to show off a couple of the fun things in these. There is uh, one from the Ultra Conics mod that I wanted to show. Oh god, sorry. I'm using my crap top right now. My, uh, my computer's waiting on the shop. <laughs> anyway... Uh, one of the things I wanted to was from, this is from the Ultra Conics mod, I believe. Let me just make sure. Ultra Conics, yep. This is the Light Arcadium Decimator. Now, from any mod I've had so far, I, I used to be a avid fan of the Drill Containment Unit, but now, as of this pickaxe, this is this is my favorite. It, it uh, Let me just show you. I can just mine downwards and gone. <laughs> it's just gone. And uh, hoi! let's see how fast we can get down to the bottom of the world. It, it just kind of breaks my laptop using it. I do have god mode on. I am using like a little cheat thing just so I don't die along the way, but by god. Alright, let's just let's stop for a second. Okay. Um... Okay, so we went through so fast that it didn't even light up anything. We're literally just uh, kind of all the way down there now. I don't know what size this world is, actually. I think it's a small world. This is just a testing world I use for random stuff. Oh, dear God. The sad thing is, though, is I've noticed you go through so fast that you don't even collect half the blocks you go through. Like, that's the only problem. I went through an entire desert and only collected maybe 300 blocks. When I went through normally with a pickaxe, I got like 30,000. Even if it's lagging bad, I'm sorry, but it's the pickaxe itself. Like, even with just this mod enabled, it does not like it at all. But it's such a good pickaxe. If your computer can handle it, which my computer, if it was working, probably could better. Yeah, it's an awesome mod. Especially if you're a builder, because one of the main features about it is it has uh, how much? Well, it has 9,001 pickaxe power, that, <laughs> and I also reforged it to give it to light, so it's even faster than it normally would be, which is fast enough. 45,005% axe power, 20 r plus 20 range, that's the reason I like it as a builder. Because I can just uh, stand in the middle and just delete anything I need to, for the most part. Yeah, it's got plus 15 speed because of that. Otherwise, whoo, holy. And it's got insane knockback. I wonder how it would do against a boss. Be right back. <laughs> Alright, we're back and we're going to try this. We're going to just try the I have Cthulhu quickly. I'm just going to zoom out because I can't really see anything. We're just going to try that pickaxe against the Eye of Cthulhu. I want to see if that, that kind of damage, how quickly it can kill it. And... Habushki! Uh, oh yeah, it's got to be nighttime. Well. I'm going to just... Uh, night. <laughs> I'm using the Heroes mod just so I can make things a little bit easier. Okay. Oh wait, I should turn God mode. Oh well, I'm just... Oh yeah, I gave everything googly eyes, I forgot. I've got a googly eyes mod, sorry everyone. <laughs> it just gives him like a hollow looking eye though. Uh, it, it, it's actually not as good as I thought it would be. I've also got Omni Swing, so every... Never mind! That was pretty quick. That was like five, six hits. Uh, I've got a lot of mods still on. <laughs> I should really like clear out mods except the one I need to for YouTube. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. Oh! One more thing. Uh, I need to summon in another Eye of Cthulhu now. Don't judge, this mod makes it really handy for videos. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, give me another one of these. Alright, I need to show you this demonic origin prism. This is another one. Don't! Dead. Just dead. Rainbow of Death. I love it. Rainbow of Death, that's all you need to know. Uh, oh yeah, I've got a blood mod on. That little servant of Cthulhu is making a mess of me. 
you got to be a little bit far away from them, it seems. If they're right on you, it doesn't seem that the beam actually works because it starts like slightly away from you. But it's still awesome anyway. What mod was that from? That is also from the Ultra Codex mod, I guess. Two weapons in one for just plain awesome. <laughs> the Murderous Marrow is also a really good bow. Although I just got that as a drop randomly. But anyway, that is a one mod done. I'll see you on the next mod. Alright, another really quick one I wanted to show you guys for number two on this is Vein Miner. Now, it makes it so useful for if you're just the kind who doesn't really like to, you know, mine every single piece of ore that you come across or something like that. I don't know. Personally, I don't mind, but for sometimes when you just try to do like a quick run or like a speed run or something, this is great because all you have to do is click or mine one piece of ore and all gone. Another one. One click. One click. One click. One click. One click. One click. Uh, I'm so glad I did that. That was actually really satisfying. <laughs> it is a really satisfying mod. My god. I'm just gonna... Oh, wait. Just gonna... making this horrifying looking like thing so that way I can just be like what cha oh yes I didn't even know that it did that that was so cool all right well that's number two on that one see you in the next one Whoa. all right this next one is the more wings mod I personally like this one because it adds a lot of free hard mode wings in you do need a uh, Sunplate anvil, which is this little thing here. It does function as a regular anvil, but you can also use it to make your wings and such. There are two that are just called soul. The Crimtain soul and the Abonian soul. I used to always get the Crimtain soul because it was the easiest to obtain for me. But, let's see. For this one, it's kind of just like, yeah. There's not really much going on there. You can... Oh wait, let me see something. I think I have boots on. Yeah, those boots are making it the boots and wings just don't combine very well. It makes you have to double jump to use your wings properly. It's weird. But, yeah, they're pretty good. They go up pretty high. Whoa. Are they infinite? It didn't say infinite. Oh, that's the double jump thing. Let's see. Flight time 34, horizontal speed 5, acceleration 1, bad vertical speed. Uh, yeah, I think that might have been the actual, like. No? Uh, it seems like. These are actually, like, really good. It's no wonder I kind of just stuck with them for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm all the way up in space. Hello, little Martians. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. The next one I guess we'll test out is the Ebonians. I, I don't know what's up. I think they're just infinite in general for some reason, but this one's the same one basically. And may confuse nearby enemies after being struck. It's radiating with the power of the Crimson. No wait, that's the Crimtain Soul. This one's power of the Corruption. Yeah, They're basically the same thing, but different colors because different biome. That's why I found them easier to get because you could just get them right from those biomes you go to right from the beginning to start breaking some orbs and such. Alright, let's try the dirt wings. <laughs> Acceleration 0 0.6, horizontal speed 4, flight time 25, very bad vertical speed. Let's try them out. Uh, yeah, they are slower. They still work pretty well though. For the flight time, it doesn't seem to really matter much. They still fly like a dream, for the most part. You can still just keep on going and going like normal. They're all pretty good functioning wings so far. What about the hell wings? That one's, they seem to be the best so far, and then... Oh, okay, so I'll test the honey wings first, and the hell wings, then the demonic waders, because that seems to be the order that they want to go in. Okay, so these ones, yeah, flight time four, or flight time 37, horizontal speed 5, acceleration 0 0.8, bad vertical speed. What does that say? Releases bees when damaged. Wait, really? That actually sounds pretty fun. <laughs> they look nice too. I like the looks of all the wings in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't think there's really much difference, to be honest. Like, they all seem to be pretty much the same. I've only ever really gotten the Crimtain Soul and just kind of stuck with that because it seemed to be good enough for me. But as a full mod review, I had to test all of these out. Uh, I guess I didn't do the first for the first one, but... If you guys want to see more of these mod reviews and such, just let me know. Because I kind of like just uh, messing around with stuff. Yeah. There will be like more epic stuff once my computer gets fixed as well. And I can still do a fair bit of stuff on this little crap top of mine. Okay, so the next... I guess, uh, demonic waiters. Are these any different? So that's the question. Oh god, yeah, they're much faster. You can already tell, like, a little bit faster. Actually, I can't... I, I don't know if I'm just, like, trying to make that up in my head or whatnot. I, I don't know if they're actually faster or not. <laughs> or if they're just the same. <laughs> uh, well, this was, a uh, a weirder of the mod reviews. But hey, pick up more wings anyway. It's all of, like... Pretty hard mode wings. Even if they're all the same, like that just means any set you get is gonna be good. So yeah, there's another one. On to the next one. Aww. All right, this one is gonna be the bomb utilities mod. This one is actually really handy as well. All right. Uh, first of all, we've got the hell bomb, which uh, takes you, str makes you a pit straight to hell. Oh, I think it has to actually be connected to wiring. Alright, one second. Alright, now this one should bring us right down to hell if I just step on this. Oh yeah. Just creates a hole that goes all the way down. I think I have god mode. No, I do not have god mode on. Oh well. It doesn't seem to be hurting me. And we seem to be getting all the blocks from it too. Huh. Alright, I'm just gonna go in my little ship and let that do its thing because, wow. Yeah. That just makes a hole straight down into the depths. But this is a completely like blank world, so yeah. as you can see, there's really not much even going on. Oh, you can watch it from the mini-map. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I just made like a blank world in T-Edit, so... Oh god, that's funny though. <laughs> okay, well, as you can guess, the dynamite does uh, the exact same thing, except a little bit bigger. And for the, the next ones are... Uh, pretty amusing themselves. I need to turn it to daytime. I cannot see a thing. But yeah. Now these ones I wanted to test out. So first I'm just gonna create a little like pit here. Alright, so the first one I wanted to try here was the water bomb. I haven't actually tried this one. Oh, look at that. What about the water dynamite? Will it just fill it up more or maybe make it like overfill or something? Yep. Then we've got the evaporation bomb. Now this one should get rid of the water. Yep. Not much of it though, it seems. That was actually a little anticlimactic from what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, so the filled dynamite apparently uses stuff from our inventory, so what will it do? I have a whole bunch of ores and stuff in my inventory, so... Oh! <laughs> There's all the stone we just mined! Oh, what the heck, it just made a little dirt mound. It looked like a dirt hut from Minecraft. <laughs> oh no. Fill bomb. <laughs> what are you gonna use? More stone? Yeah. Oh, you. Oh yeah, there's stone right there. Oh no. Well... Where'd that button go? Oh, there it is. Just for randomness. There we go. Ha. Ah, another elevator. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> well, there's the uh, utility bombs mod. I hope they update it with more things soon because that's pretty awesome. Uh, I not, I'm not really too keen on the water one, but maybe m it might work better in like larger circumstances. And it is a little easier than just crafting a whole bunch of buckets get rid of a little bit, although that probably would have been like 20 irons worth just for like two buckets, but anyway, on to the next one! <laughs> Alright, and the last one of the day is magic storage. Now, I have used this so often. It is a little funky when you're using like lower resolutions and none of the 
UI likes to work properly sometimes, but it is really handy. You've got some of the, uh, this is the storage part, this is uh, the interface you use to interact with it, this is the crafting one, so if you go in here you can add whatever crafting stations you want and craft anything using any of those stations. I like to have multiple of these so I can literally have every crafting station and be able to craft anything I need. You've also got your interface so that way you can just, uh, I can just get closer. So you can literally just deposit anything you want. I can literally just deposit all this and there it is. If I went in here and then wanted to craft anything, yeah, even just from that, all the recipes. So let's see, yeah. That's all pretty straightforward. There are more upgrades for all of these as well. Uh, let me just go in here, show you guys. So you can get the shadow diamond, which you need to be able to create all this stuff. There's a broken snow globe, so that way, as it says, allows a storage crafting interface to craft snow biome recipes. I, that's pretty handy. I don't know what this radiant jewel actually is, <laughs> but there's a couple drives that you can use to store the location and use a uh, remote access and everything else. It's amazing. Storage unit one to deactivate ones you don't want, but I don't really see the need for that. You want all of your storage accessible at all times, in my opinion. You got all of your storage upgrades, so they, you, you can get pretty pretty crazy. Uh, I think for this Terra storage upgrade is actually pretty high. I think it's like 800. Let me check. Let me see what we've got right here for this just one basic crafting, or basic unit. 40 items for the basic one. Then uh, once we add this on, it should be a lot more. 600, the, yeah, that Terra storage item adds 600. But even if you just wanted to add a whole bunch of regular storage, you could just do that. I found that you cannot destroy them either. So just like a chest with items in it, if it has items in it, you can destroy every other part. Like the heart, the crafting interface, everything. Unless the crafting interface has, you know, stuff in it. But if you try and destroy these, nope, even with this super, super powerful pickaxe. That one didn't have anything in it. <laughs> Don't get scared, but yeah, nothing besides one of those mods that can break chests can break that. You are safe. <laughs> Although that literally just destroyed all those, I don't know where any of them went. I think this pickaxe is a little too powerful at times. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be the last one for now, and I will come back with more mod updates. So, I've got so many mods that I love, and I just need to show them all off, because Terraria doesn't get as much love as it should, and it's coming out with its new update soon, so I'm pretty pumped about it. Let me know what you guys thought about all this, though, and I will see you all in the next video. Um, bye bye I'm off to hell. Woo! Gotta enjoy the hot tubs! <laughs> uh, see you later, everyone.